Hello, and welcome back to another video on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. In the last one, we took on Sunny Shore City and battled Volkner, the gym leader there, for our 8th gym badge, the Beacon Badge. And he was the Electric Tech gym leader, it was a pretty well-fought battle. And then we unlocked access to Victory Road, which we have actually just scaled. So I didn't want to do a video on it, because I thought it would take a long time. I was going to explore every single possible nook and cranny around the area. Turns out it was underwhelmingly short, actually. Like, I finished it in, I think, less than two hours. Um, or maybe even less than one hour, like it was genuinely pretty short, I would say. So it wasn't really an issue at all. Um, but in this one, we have finally arrived at the Pokemon League, as you can tell by the music. And Pokemon League is up ahead. And we are going to be taking on the Elite Four today. So, Pokemon League, the pinnacle of trainerdom. So over here is going to be a waterfall that is going to be the only obstacle standing between us and our challenge against the Elite Four, so let's just climb up with the help of a wild Beeberl. Still think it's pretty funny uh, that they put those Bidoof and Beeberl for the uh, Pokemon as HM users in the field, but yeah, as you can see, it's a really nice area here, just a little mountain uh, up top. You can see the ocean vast expanse on the left. Over here we can see some hills, some grass even, so I wonder where that is actually. Uh, might be the area where you can get Shaman, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, this is going to be the Pokemon League. Let's actually just switch to our clock, I guess. And let's get inside. So Elite Four, the journey is finally coming to an end. Uh, if I just show you guys my trainer card right here. And yeah, we actually have 69 hours, which is quite a long time, uh, honestly, considering I haven't even taken on the Elite Four yet, but I am a, quite a completionist. I like to play the game uh, and pretty much do everything I can. As you can see, my I've almost completed the Pokédex already, um, and we have all eight gym badges, of course. And I didn't don't have max money, actually, but in regards to the Pokédex, I did actually also complete almost all of it in terms of... Uh, ones that I've captured as well. So I'm at 126 out of 151. I'm only missing two. So one is going to be Milotic, number 139. Actually, I'm not sure what the other one is. Let's just take a look real quick. Because I don't really know who it is, actually. Um, did I miss it? I might have missed it, actually. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I see everyone from here. Okay, sorry about this. Let's just try and find it. Because I really am not sure who I'm missing. I think it might be... Yeah. Before Ryolu and after Snorlax, not sure who that is, I guess I'll have to look it up or something. Uh, but yeah, here we are, in the Pokemon League. Your Pokemon are so calm, even though they're going up against the Elite Four. I like how they're so loose and relaxed. And then over here, we have a shopping mart, um, where you can pretty much buy everything. So you can buy every single Pokeball here. Uh, you can buy every single potion, you know, full restores, max potions, revives, and all of that stuff. And just whatever you need to take on the Elite Four, if we uh, take a look at this text here, if I can actually just move correctly. Okay, actually you can't read that. So I guess let's save the game. Oops. Um, let's just, oh my god, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Let's just save the game and finally get ready to take on the Elite Four. Let me confirm that you are qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. To do so, I'll need to examine the gym badges you gathered from around Sinnoh. Orberg City's Coal Badge, Eterna City's Forest Badge, Veilstone City's Cobble Badge, Pistoria City's Fen Badge, Hearthome City's Relic Badge, Candlewave City's Mine Badge, Snowpoint City's Ice Skull Badge, and finally, Sunny Shore City's Beacon Badge. And we get the fanfare. Very well. Trainer, you've indeed collected all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory. So, we are now... Challenging the Elite Four, here we go. So, oh, this music. Here we go. Elite Four music. Um, also, by the way, there was actually a battle against Barry, a rival battle, but I actually already came here uh, just to take a look at everything before I recorded the video, and unfortunately I didn't know there was a battle against him. Uh, so, turns out we already went against him. But he had a full-fledged team of six Pokemon. It was a great battle. Um, a lot of fun. Actually, my Garchomp basically swept him for the most part, but yeah. Anyways, here we go. I actually forgot who the first one is going to be, so I guess I'm just going to lead Garchomp and hope for the best. 
Um, and here we go, up the platform. So I remember there was someone called Agatha. Actually, I don't even think she's in this game, though. Um, i trying to remember, because I know there was someone... I think it's a bug type for the first one, if I'm not mistaken. I know also know there was someone called Sydney, but I think that was from Emerald, the dark type. Uh, so I guess let's just go for it, then. I honestly, like, my memories are very vague. Yeah, I think this guy is a bug type, though, honestly. Um, bug type trainer. But yeah, Leaf 4 Challenge, if you guys didn't know, you basically have to go against four of the strongest trainers, and they all specialize in one type, kind of like a gym leader. So let's see what he has to say. Aaron, hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four, it's good to meet you. Well, I should explain, I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean, and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challenges here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. And here we go. Oh, it's the same music as the gym battle, I think. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure Aaron is a bug-type user, though, so I got that read right. A dust Ox. Okay, that's kind of an underwhelming start. So I have a very well-rounded team. You know, I, I like to build my teams pretty well, um, and I'd like to think that I did a pretty good job of it. So I obviously have a lot of really good counters here. I have my Infernape, which will just straight up, I think, one-shot everyone with Flame Wheel. Uh, and then I also do have my Staraptor, which will 100% one-shot people with Brave Bird. do also have the Metronome on her, so... Aerialist could rack up power as well. I think let's just give Garchomp a little bit of a show here first, though. Um, so I think Earthquake would be the strongest move right now. I don't think Dustox has Levitate, even though he is, like, flying, kind of. And he does actually survive it, though. Interesting. Light Screen is going to be annoying, but I do all have... Uh, like, my two main counters are going to be physical attackers, so... Not going to be a big deal. He has Black Sludge, and he might actually pop an item right here. Uh, no he doesn't, so that's just gonna go down. So yeah, these battles, I mean, they're level 53, which is decent, but I'm, like, pretty highly leveled, because again, I like to grind, I like to finish everything. So I'm gonna be very much, uh, leveled up enough for these fights, I'd like to say. Um, especially because we are getting XP along the way as well. Heracross comes out, I'm actually pretty scared of him, but I think now is gonna be a good time to switch to Infernape, because Fire and Fighting both resist Bug, I'm pretty sure, so that should be a four times resistance, if he does go for, like, Megahorn or something. If he goes for, like, close combat, this is gonna hurt, but we'll see what he goes for. Finally, my Infernape has a chance to shine, he hasn't played in quite a while, honestly. Okay, yeah, Brick Brick did a fair amount. Ooh, he has a Flame Orb with Guts, that's, yeah, it's pretty cool that they have, like, uh, intense... Or rather, uh, like, synergy between their abilities and, like, competitive sets and everything. Like, you have Black Sludge on the Dust Talks, for example. Oh god, he survived. I actually could get taken out here by... Okay, yeah, I'm... That's a dead Infernape. Uh, so that kind of sucks, but I think it's time for my Star Raptor to shine. Especially because I do have the Metronome on her, and, uh... Wing attack, or flying type attacks in general are going to be four times super effective against Heracross because bug and fighting dual type. Kind of unfortunate that I guess I cannot just one-shot. They're, I guess I'm kind of used to one-shotting because I've been kind of over-leveled against everyone else, but Elite Four finally stands up to the challenge, I guess. Full Restore comes in, which is kind of funny, though, because they all have, like, the best healing item, right? The Full Restore. But it actually messes up his synergy with the Burn Orb, or Flame Orb and the Burn. And yeah, Aerialist is going to one-shot. Also, I do have the Metronome on her again, which means every time she uses a move, same move in a row, it'll get stronger. So I think I can just go for an Aerialist sweep from this point on. Yeah, like, Beautifly and Dustox are both really, really weak, I would say. Somehow Dustox survived the Earthquake, though, but... Yeah, I think we should go for a Metronome sweep and should get the job done here, which will be nice. Uh, so Star Raptor putting in work. Obviously, I could go for Brave Bird, but I don't really want to considering I would probably, like, take myself out with all the recoil damage coming in. This is going to be his second last Pokemon, but I think it's going to be his strongest one. Uh, wow, survived a three metronome stacked Aerial Ace. That's interesting. Does have a Citrus Berry, maybe? Or Ayapapa Berry? Yeah, Citrus Berry, okay. Defend Order, though, not going to be the move, because metronome is boosted once again. I think that'll... He's probably going to full restore again here. Actually, he might be... Yeah, Vesquin's not low enough to get the full restore, I guess. So that's just going to be... A dead Vespiquin, and I'm fairly certain whoever he sends out next, no matter who it is, is going to get taken out by this Aerial Ace. With all the metronomes getting stacked on. 
Oh, I actually, I don't think Drapion is... Okay, that's his base Pokemon. I don't think he's a uh, Bug-type, actually. And he actually outspeeds my Staraptor. Wow. That's a crit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But hopefully with the Metronome stack, should still be enough. Okay, that was barely nothing, actually. Um, that's kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want everyone to die, so I'm actually just gonna... Uh, switch to Garchomp, I think, to finish the job. Because uh, Garchomp should take everything pretty well. And then, obviously, Earthquake will destroy this Drapion. I could even bulldoze, even, to take it out. Uh, hopefully I just don't get, like, double crit or something, though. Okay, yeah. A crit won't do it from here, so... And Bulldoze definitely will. And, y okay, somehow he outsped Staraptor, but not Garchomp. I mean, my Garchomp is max EV'd, so that could be why. EV trained. But Staraptor's, like, really fast, so I'm not sure. Anyway, though, that's gonna be a battle. And actually, I guess it was pretty hard fought. Uh, we should get decent money here from this fight. You think you? I will now concede defeat, but I think you came to see how great bug type Pokemon can be. Also, I love this music, the victory music. Hope you also realize what you're up against in the Pokemon League. Battling is a deep and complex affair, and I definitely can see that. I mean, it, he put up much more of a fight than I was expecting. So, back to training camp. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three more trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. So, I know for a fact that Flint is the third one, I think. Or maybe fourth. But Flint is basically the fire type, right? So, uh... I... Do want to heal up right here. So, I'm, I'm gonna heal up Staraptor and revive heal up Infernape. Um, I do have max revives, I think. I don't know if you can buy max revives, actually. Um, I know you can buy normal revives, though, so I'm just gonna stick to that. I know you get, like, them from the underground. At least that's where I got them. And... Hyper Potion will not do enough for Staraptor, but it'll basically do enough, I think. So that should be good. And then Super Potion should be enough for, uh, Garchomp. I'm just gonna heal everyone up, because why not? And I guess... I don't really want to lead with Garchomp every single time, so let's try and see, like, what the theme of the room is. Or maybe I'll see the trainer and remember. Ooh, Agatha's gonna be... Is this Agatha? Or, like, someone? But I think, actually, uh, Rock-type Garchomp might be a good lead against. But I'm gonna lead with my Roserade. Should also do fair very well against either Rock or Ground. Um, I do remember it now. It's all coming. Bertha! Okay, yeah. Quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a spine. Ahaha, I'm Bertha. I have a preference for Ground-type Pokemon. Okay, so... Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? So, actually... Garchomp would not have fared that well against uh, this, but both Frostlass and Roserade do. So, like I said, I balance my team out pretty well, I'd like to think. And I should have pretty good coverage against everything. Quagsire? Okay, that is going to get blown away from Giga Drain. Uh, no questions asked. Also, I really like my ball capsule I made for Roserade. I think it really fits. I made it when he was a Boodoo, I think, or she. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be a dead Quagsire. 100%. It's four times weak to that, so yeah, there's no chance that was getting survived. So Quagsire gets taken out. And everyone's kind of leveling up slowly but surely. I'll I have to get Garchomp out at some point just because I kind of want the amulet coin rewards. Okay, I don't know why you'd have two water ground types. That's not very versatile, I guess, but Giodrain's going to blow this back as well. Um, he ate a berry. I do not think it's going to be enough. Yeah, it's not. Uh, what berry was that? Rindo berry, right. I have that, actually, because I've, again, I'm into, like, berry. I've tried to, like, be into everything, so I've been doing berry farming as well. Pseudo Wudo. I, I am going to get my guard jump out at some point. Would also be nice to get, uh, Frostlass out at some point, but not sure if I'll have the opportunity to get all of them out. Just because I don't have, I don't play on the Switch battle style. I kind of play it on set because my friend that I started playing this game with, uh, she said that like it's way too easy if you do set. And I was like, ah, fair it. Switch. I mean, like you can switch after every defeat. I was like, ah, okay, fine. I'll I'll play it like this, which is kind of how competitive is played anyway. So Golem comes out. Uh, they are catching up in levels though. Like both being level 56, both the Pseudo Wudo and Golem. I think Golem has sturdy, so he should survive this, and he does. Um, so I could take a hit here. Heavy Slam. That might hurt. Yeah, that definitely hurt because Golem is, a uh, very, very heavy, of course, but... 
Okay, I'm really surprised she didn't use a healing item there. That's why I went for Giga Drain. I thought I could heal it all back after she full restored, but I guess not. Um, but whoever her last one is, probably gonna be the time to switch into Garchomp. Or I guess I don't have to, necessarily, because I do have money farming methods. Hip out on. I guess I will switch to Garchomp. He does also get Sand Veil up, so... Well, okay, I'm gonna go Giga Drain. I don't think it's gonna KO, because Hippowdon's so tanky. Okay, never mind, it did. I mean, it's fine. I don't need the Amulet Coin, necessarily. Just a straight-up Roserade sweep there, uh, and fully healed up as well. Um, which is fine. I don't really need the money. It would have been nice, but it's whatever. I really thought it would survive that, though. Well, dear child, I must say that was most impressive. Your Pokemon believed in you and did their best to earn you the win. Even though I've lost, I find myself with a silly grin. Yeah, only 7k, but it's not a big deal. You're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earn the win by working as one. That's what makes you so strong. Ah ha ha ha, I think you can go as far as you want. Alright. So, next up, I think... I... I think Flint, but he could be fourth as well. Okay, yeah, Flint is third, I knew it. So... Again, Garchomp is going to shine here. Actually, I don't have anyone else that'll shine. I mean, Roserade and uh, Frostless are going to sit this one out, 100%. Luxray um, and Infernip could make a showing, and maybe even Star Raptor, but Garchomp's definitely going to be the lead here again. Yo, trainer. You had me counting the days on my fingers, waiting for you to come. I heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Here we go. I really like Flint. He has, like, some cool energy. But here we go. I think his ace Pokemon's gonna be Magmortar. Uh, cause that's what I remember. I fought him before. And I remember he had, like, a really sick Magmortar ball capsule as well back in the, uh, Diamond Pearl Platinum days. Not sure if he still does. But yeah, Garchomp is gonna go have a field day here against all of them. Especially with Earthquake. Might run out of PP on it, but... It's gonna do a, a lot of work. Um, I might try and get, do like a bulldoze on someone, maybe, to conserve earthquake PP. Although I do also have a ton of Lepa berries, because again, berry farming. So I could restore PP that way if I really need to. Okay, low honey. So she will probably survive anything. I'm gonna guess that she. I'm gonna see if she survives an earthquake or he. Uh, yeah, I knew he would probably survive anything I threw at him, so let's see. Okay, high jump kick. Gonna be a pretty strong attack. Although Garchomp is a big tank. And what item is that? Shell Bell, maybe? Leftovers. Okay, that doesn't really make sense on a low punny, I'd say, but Dragon Claw should seal it here. Um, and he's too high in HP to get full restored, so yeah. It's gonna be a nice KO. Garchomp, level 64, putting in work. Deserves it. Steelix comes out. I believe Steelix does have Sturdy, so even if he used Earthquake, he wouldn't get taken out. Might as well just Bulldoze. Alright, so actually Bulldoze was a bit too weak there, so Earth I'll go Earthquake second uh, to ensure the KO. Just didn't want to activate Sturdy and have him full restore and everything. Oh my god, that was... That wasn't even a crit, Jesus, but... I'll definitely outspeed. I mean, Steelix doesn't get any priority, and Earthquake's gonna take him out. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Earthquake's a strong move. Bulldoze is, like, only 60 base power, I think. Earthquake is 100. So, yeah, Garchomp. Maybe Garchomp can sit the next one out, depending on who it is. Maybe I'll give someone else a chance to shine. Okay, Drifloom. Yeah, I'll switch him out, because uh, I don't think Crunch will one-shot, and then he'll probably get taken out, actually. So let's actually, let's actually go Luxray, because Spark will put in work here. And worst case, if the fifth Pokemon is a bad matchup, I can Volt Switch out, so... I guess interesting that he has a Drift Flume, even though he's a Fire-type trainer, but, uh... Yeah, what is he gonna go for? Will-O-Wisp. Okay, that's annoying, actually, because that is gonna cripple my Luxray pretty heavily. I am not sure I can even two-shot him with Spark anymore, because it'll half my attack, of course. That's how Burn works. Uh, but let's... I believe in my Luxray. I think I can still two-shot. Okay, maybe he's gonna start avoiding stuff, too. That's gonna be annoying as well. For sure. Okay, at least I hit, though. Nice. Okay, we're just barely gonna get the two-shot on him. Um, okay, never mind. He has an item, apparently. Uh, 
Citrus Berry. Okay, I'm going to try and go for Crunch instead of Spark, because I think Spark will put him in range of getting full restored. So I'm going to try and uh, not do as much damage. And he is, my god, he might start dodging everything soon. That would be annoying as well. Kind of funny, though, Spark would have one-shot him if... Uh, Okay, let's go. Sheer determination, so I wouldn't worry. I mean, that's kind of a broken concept. Uh, that, like... Okay, bat and pass. Who's he gonna pass to with these minimize... Uh... Raises. Infernape. Okay, so his... His ace is gonna be Infernape of his own. Not gonna be... Oh, God. Not gonna be, um... Magmortar. I guess that's only in Platinum. This is gonna hurt, though. And hopefully I can hit this, uh, Volt Switch. He is lowering his stats, though. Oh god, okay, yeah. I'm... I don't really want to sack Luxray. He does not have infinite close combats either. He should only have, like, five. Unless they use PP-ups. I don't know if they do, though, as NPCs. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm probably just gonna keep on going for Hyper Potions here. I, that was a really low damage rule. I can't risk getting taken out next turn. So this one's going to be a bit repetitive, guys. But, I mean, he dodged, like, two attacks in a row with the spamming minimize. So I don't really have much else of a choice unless I want to just sack everyone. Which I don't. Okay, so it looks like, actually, th that's, like, the average roll. And the other one he got was a low roll, maybe. Um, so I'm actually going to risk the roll on close combat and go for another spark here yeah we do survive so looks like that is about the average damage roll the first one he got was just high hopefully we can hit this one he'll definitely get one shot if i do hit finally okay yeah i mean he oh he has a focus sash well that's a bit annoying actually oh we got we got the spark para as well that's pretty huge actually um but he's definitely gonna full restore actually the para doesn't matter at all so let's go for a max potion here because Hyper Potion wouldn't do enough. He's definitely gonna full restore, isn't he? Especially because he has a status as well. Yeah, there he goes. This time, though, there's no chance he's gonna survive a spark with all those lowers. It's just gonna be a question of if I can hit it. Which, hopefully, I can. Oh my god, I misclicked Thunderwave. That's bad. Okay, but I avoided his uh, close combat. I guess that's good. And I hit, apparently. For all the moves to hit, I hit this one. Well, I guess I'm going to outspeed so I get multiple opportunities to try and go first. Let's see here. Another spark? Okay, yeah. I, I'm going to expect at least like another few dodges, but I don't know why he's going for Thunder Punch. He can't even paralyze me because I'm electric type. Okay, I have dodge again. Oh, he might be out of close combats, actually. That's kind of funny. But then, why wouldn't he have like a fire type move as well? Okay, avoiding everything. Fire Punch, yeah, he should be going for Fire Punch from the start, dude. Don't know why he's going for Thunder Punch, but, uh... Mock Punch, okay, so that's his entire moveset just revealed to us. Let's go, we hit it, so that's gonna be a dead Infernape. And... Drifflim, I believe, is faster than my Luxray. So I'm just gonna go for the Spark. I can feel your determination, your will is overpowering me, or overwhelming me, I forgot. Oh wait, no, it didn't, it didn't, it only did like half damage last time. Um, although, was I burned, actually? I'm trying to remember. Maybe I was burned, actually, so maybe, yeah, I think I was burned last time, so, yeah, yeah, because then I was like, okay, if I wasn't burned, I would have one-shot him, so yeah, that's going to be the battle. Does he have Aftermath? No, he does not. Level 63. Only person behind now is Star Raptor, maybe he can lead the next one. Blue, uh, my Infernape also leveled up, so... That's gonna be a nice win. Whoa! I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't looking down on you, but I didn't think for a second that I'd lose. This is fantastic. You and your Pokemon are inspiring. 15k Poke Dollars. Speechless. Woo! Burnt right down to cinders. And that's... Move along. <laughs> Alright. So, in for the final battle here. I actually don't remember who it is. Um, although, I guess we, we don't have to battle or i mean i guess we can like talk or, or like go around the room before battling them so like we have to uh choose our team preview beforehand or choose our team like set up but let's let's try and guess from what we see here okay this should be ghost i think or psychic actually lucian maybe 
So maybe gonna be Frostlass's time to shine here actually, because Saraptor actually did put in work against uh, Aaron, the bug type. Luxray just put in a lot of work. A Garchomp put in a ton of work overall. Roserade swept Bertha. Uh, Infernape didn't put in that much work, but did make an appearance against uh, Aaron. And also, he will actually get destroyed if it's Psychic type, like I'm expecting. So let's actually just save here. I don't know, just to be safe, I guess. And then let's take him on. I think his name is Lucian. Yeah, it is. Ah, you, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lucian. I'm a user of psychic types. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I'll have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Here we go. I'm not sure if it's Lucian or Lucian, but pretty sure it's Lucian. Um, so here we go. Final one. Uh, my Frostless does have Shadow Ball, so she should put in a lot of work here. Mr. Mime. I think Frostless can go off in this fight. Also, I like the ball capsule I put on her. Uh, the snowflakes. I could update my ball capsule because I've been buying a bunch from the Sunny Shore Market. Let's see though. Will it one shot? It is a strong Shadow Ball user. No, okay. Mr. Mime has really good special defense, I guess, to be fair. Um, light screen's gonna be annoying, actually. Really annoying. Because. Now I won't actually take him out with this next Shadow Ball, so I think I might as well just go for Ice Beam and hope he doesn't get into range of uh, full restore. Okay, I think he is, unfortunately. Psychic gonna come down. His hand movements are kind of funny. That was kind of painful, actually. Um, but there comes the full restore. We could also maybe get a special defense drop, I guess. Maybe should've just been c continuously going for Shadow Ball, just to go for that drop. But, yeah, that did nothing. And I'm actually going to have to heal. Oh, we did get the drop. Nice. So I'm actually going to have to heal up here. And just kind of wait out for the light screen to wear off. Then I think you'll get one shot by... Um, let's go move milk. He'll get one shot by a Shadow Ball with that special defense drop. So, let's heal up. Psychic going to be painful again. He could also get a drop himself, actually. I think just one more turn, because it's been two Shadow Ball turns, one Ice Beam turn, and then one turn of healing. So I think Light Screen last five turns should be gone after this one, and then we should just take care of Mr. Mime. And hopefully no Light Screen for the rest of the battle. So Frostlass can actually just put in work. Okay, Light... Oh my god, he probably has a Light Clay. Okay, again, this is getting a bit repetitive, just healing up, but... I literally have no nothing else to do. If I attack, I'll die to the other Psychic, so... Kinda caught in a loop here. Looks like he does have the Light Clay on to... M make the screens last for 8 turns instead of 5. Again, I think it's cool though how the Elite Four do have like good items and good synergy between their everyone. There we go, healed up again though. And I think we only have to survive one more. Yeah, this tr this should be their final turn of light screen, and then should finally be done. I guess I'm also risking getting crit right here, but should be okay. Yeah, just spamming psychic. But so far, we haven't gotten the drop either, uh, like, on the receiving end. There we go, finally what we were waiting for. Let's just finish it off with a shadow ball. This should definitely take him out, considering he has a special defense drop. Yeah, there we go. Oh, is that level 59, actually? Their levels are catching up to ours, wow. So I really did think I was kind of overleveled, but I guess not really, because they are catching up very much so. And little hint, the champion's going to be very strong as well. Alakazam is scary. I think I'll outspeed him, though, but he could have a Focus Sash. Okay, never mind, I didn't even outspeed. I was max speed, I didn't outspeed, so maybe they're EV trained up as well. Unfortunate, my Frostlass going to go down there, but uh, it is what it is. My Garchomp has Crunch, and my Luxray has Crunch. I think Garchomp will be better off, though, because he should be tankier. So, let's go Garchomp. Oh, I think Lucian, Lucian might have a Gallade. Um, yeah, outspeeds my max speed hasty Garchomp as well. But Nasty Plot, not going to be the move unless he has a Focus Sash, because he'll get taken out by this Crunch. And yeah, cause Sash is a fairly common item, so I wasn't going to be too surprised if he had one. Uh, 
common item on Alakazam, I mean, but... Yeah, very unfortunate that we are taking some feints in these battles. Metacham comes out. I mean, he could very well have Ice Punch on here, so I'm kind of scared, but let's just drop the Quake, I guess, and hope for the best. Okay, almost took him out. Yeah, I, I had a feeling. That's actually just going to straight up take out my Garchomp. Unfortunate, but... Okay, now finally Star Raptor is going to get a chance to shine. Or I guess even Infernape could. Uh, but I think Star Raptor. Because I want to get a Brave Bird off. Um, I'm taking a bit of a beating though. Like, this is a challenge for sure. They're strong. I'm, I mean, some of my Pokemon, um, at least my Garchomp and Frostlass, are max EV train. And they're, they're taking it pretty well. Brave Bird should fully take him out though. I don't see any way in which he survives this, especially because it's such a strong move. Only thing is, I'm going to take a bunch of recoil. But yeah, there's no way he was surviving that one. So, Metacham goes down. Yeah, about quarter of my HP down. A little bit over. But decent XP. And Girafferig is next. I don't feel that threatened by this. I could actually take him out, maybe, because I have a metronome racking up now. So Brave Bird plus metronome uh, of one turn of metronome could do the trick here, actually. It did, let's go. Okay, start. Oh, critical hit as well. So I, I guess we wouldn't have known if it was going to take him out. I kind of wanted to know, though. But let's see who. I think his ace Pokemon is going to be a Gallade. I think. Hmm, now what should I do? Gallade? Bronzong, okay. Well, okay, that kind of sucks. It's level 63, wow, that is. Same level as mine. Well, not going to go for Brave Bird anymore. It's not going to take him out no matter what. Okay, finally, we do get a chance for Infernape to shine, though. Going to U-turn out of there. Finally, do get an opportunity to use my momentum moves as well. I have U-turn and Volt Switch on half of my team. Infernape, Luxray, and Staraptor. So, nice to finally get an opportunity for that. Especially because, again, I'm not playing on Switch. I'm playing on the set battle mode. But I think this Bronzong should be Levitate, not Heatproof. So, uh... Let's see if Flame Wheel will take him out. I do kind of want Flare Blitz on Infernape, but it's only coming at like level 68, I think. Wow, he took that. He just straight up took that. And he has an item as well. Citrus Berry, I guess. Yeah, he's going to get taken out by the next one, though. Earthquake. I don't think this should take me out. Okay, it did. Yikes. Um, We are kind of taking a beating here. Not going to lie. But Luxray should do the trick with Crunch, I hope. I mean, he has Earthquake, I'm kind of scared of that. But, I, I do also get an Intimidate off, so it's not that big of a deal. And, uh... Hopefully Crunch takes him out. I don't think it will, because he's same level as us, and very defensive. Okay, it did, though. Let's go. Luxury coming in clutch. So everyone's kind of putting in work, right? Okay, wow, another critical hit. I kind of... I kind of wanted to just see if it would do it by itself. Maybe it wouldn't have then. But yeah, everyone's kind of chipping in here. I mean, Garchomp and Frostless went down. Unfortunately, Infernape went down as well. But yeah, I see. You getting past the three before me was no fluke. Your power is real. I'm going to let this music play for just a little bit because I love the song. Okay, I think that's a full loop. So, here we go. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the Champion. I should warn you, the Champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. So I am actually going to heal up, because I don't know if there's going to be like a cutscene or something. But we're going to have to revive up as well. This is going to be a hard fight. So let's heal everyone up. And then we're going to have to use a ton of Hyper Potions. Well, Moo Moo Milk can deal with some of them, but... Oh wow, I burned through almost all my Moo Moo Milks just because of uh, that uh, Mr. Mime <laughs> light screen stall. But Hyper Potion will fully heal our remainder. And... Stir Raptor can get healed up too. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to uh, put Soft Sand on my Garchomp, but... I don't know, Amulet Coin is nice as well. But anyways, we're going to battle the champion in the next episode, I guess, of this sort of Let's Play, but not really. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I think uh, I kind of wanted to separate them, so 
yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. We took on the Elite Four. It was definitely more hard fought than I expected, but next time we are going to be taking on the Elite Four. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.